moments away. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. Colorado's got control of the puck. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Puck grabbed by Puyo Yarby. And there's the whistle icing the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. McDavid's won it off the faceoff. You don't spend much time in your zone if you can win the draw like that. And that's intercepted by Hyman. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. He scores! Well, not long after they sat down for the anthem, they're back up. Yeah, that's the whole point of this thing, isn't it? If you're at home, you want it to be a bit of a party. Early on, they've got the game's first goal. The Oilers have turned it up to 11 here early with that goal. They told us this morning that they wanted to attack early. They thought that the other team might not be ready for a quick start. Turns out they were right. Quick shot. Stop some cold. Devastating collision lined up in the railroad tracks. Yeah, sending a message early there, James. He gets the body contact. Quick shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it quickly over to Nichuskin. He scores! They tie it up. Uh, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. More than half the period left to play. It's all tied up. Kadri's won it. Moves it to dry sidle. Let's it fly! The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Quick pass to Nichuskin. And that's knocked away by Yamamoto. Can't get it to go. Quick feed to Kadri. And they won't connect on that one. And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Kadri. Along the half wall with the puck. And now it's over to Taves. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Here we go, it's a two on one. Bouchard's got it across the line. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Quick shot, denies him on the slapper. Moves it quickly over to Kadri. The Oilers get a hold of it. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Avs have been called for elbowing. They'll serve two in the box. Man advantage unit is set. Well, it's a great chance, James. This uh, top-rated power play gets their first opportunity of the night. You know these power play guys have been chomping at the bit to get out there. And they get the puck out. Bouchard's got it in the defensive end. Edmonton's got it across the line. Here he is in front. Blocked in traffic. Taken by Nugent Hopkins. Made the stop on that play. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change. Get... Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Dreisaitl's getting a chance here on the power play, guys. He knows his zone ability could help them generate a good scoring chance. Let's see if they can strike. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Hammers one at the net, and that's denied by Kemper. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Feeds it on over to Jost. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Trying to engage a little physicality here. They score! And how about that? They connect on the power play and take the lead. This is how it's supposed to work. I mean, it doesn't always work like this, but they looked like they had a real sure idea about what they wanted to get accomplished on this power play. The man advantage comes through, and they've now taken the lead. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Can't find his man. The Oilers have it behind the net. Gains the zone from the right side. Hammers the shot. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. 
Well, he made a great breakout pass with his send it superstar ability, guys, and that's what helped set up that goal. It's nice to see him get rewarded with an assist on that play. Moves it to dry sidle. Power play by number 37. Colorado's looking to break out of their own end. There's another for the hit parade. Intercepted the pass. Edmonton's team defense is something to watch tonight. I'm, oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Colorado's got it in the offensive zone. Time for the power play to go to work. They haven't had a lot of chances tonight. And a strong effort on that play. Look out! and tries to make a diagonal pass to Nugent Hopkins. Playing the body. He's got a step. He scores! Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, and he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. Here in the later stages of this period, Colorado's trailing by one. Kadri's one possession. Broken up at center by McDavid. Here's a howitzer at the net. Taken along the wall by Barry. The Avs have it against the wall. Great forecheck by McDavid. Landeskog's gonna play it from the back of the cage. And they can't connect. The Oilers have it now. Centering pass. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Smith. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Avs win the faceoff. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. The Avs send their men advantage unit out once more. You never know when your opportunities are going to show up here to tie the game. Well, I don't know if a power play can be any bigger of a chance than that. Oh, and that's got the crowd busting after that stop. Hyman swooping in on the attack. Let's it go from the slot. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face off? The Avs win the draw. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. They got a trail on the rush. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. Levels them on the ice. James, I love that hit. We, oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. That opportunity is rejected. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Oilers are off to the box. Interference the call. As they're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Made the stop on the play. These five on threes of this leg don't come around very often here. What a great opportunity for them. And that's broken up. And they get that puck down the ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Oilers gain possession. Quick pass to Burakovsky. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Denies him. He got all of it. Trying to clear the puck. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Dreisaitl's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Avs win possession here in the open ice. Cuts to the front! Penalty coming up here. That's another penalty, three in the period. Their best player was not very happy. He's got to sit here and watch again. Colorado's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Turned aside.
Landry's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! And we're tied with a little special and special teams. Well, the power play comes through for them. They were working on it in the morning ski, trying to get the puck from the point to the front of the net with a little more traffic, but that's just one variation. Here they're able to score, the game's tied, and we now have a whole new game to look at. Here he is on a breakaway! Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one! -on -one. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. What a hit on the play! And they clear that puck. He's down on the ice. Their trainer is already standing on top of the boards. It looks like he's going to come over and help him. Oh, look at that. Here we go. we got a penalty coming up right here. Tremendous stop by Smith. Quick feed to Landeskog. Oh, another consecutive stop. And he scores. When you're on the ice for a delayed penalty offensively, you have no worry about taking a chance. Nothing bad can happen. He uses all the momentum of his stride to deliver that snapshot. It goes right by the goaltender. The Avalanche have gone up by one here in this second. What do you see in between the benches, Ray? Well, they're pretty happy that they've broken the tie. But they want to be aggressive. They still want to push the play. Now that they have the lead, they're not satisfied. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's a hit on the play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And he comes up with it. And that's another power play. Marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. Colorado's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push this lead from one to two. I like the way that they've been playing. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Edmonton's on the attack. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Picked off by Bouchard. Nice job to escape the zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he regains control of the puck. Grabbed along the board by Nachuskin. And that's picked off in the defensive end. He's going to play the puck outside of his crease here. The Avs wow. have it now. On the attack along the boards. Colorado's got it behind the net. The Avs are on the attack. Breakaway. Pokes it away on the breakaway. Man, that's an all or nothing move. You make the poke check, great save. You miss it, it's an open net. Here's a shot. Denies him in front. Smith's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Landis Scott's able to score from in close because he tracks those rebounds so well, guys. His crease crasher zone ability gets him on the score sheet even if the goals aren't always pretty. That pass doesn't go. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Oh, he just got hit oh. by a free train. This has to seem like rush hour to him. He can't get from one end of the ice to the other without getting run over. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Gains the zone through the middle. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. They were talking about a need for discipline before the game, but, man, they've taken a bushel of penalties here. This is not going to go over well. Colorado's got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. Lots of talk before they get into the draw here. This five on three is so quick. You have to know exactly what you want to get accomplished. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. All alone! And it fizzles out! Now, I'm not sure what the blueprint was there, James, but that wasn't it. They don't even get a shot. Landeskog's lugging the puck. Gets it to the other point. Great save from in tight. Granted, it's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And the officials will pass the sentence here. This might not be a very good video session tomorrow when they ring through the penalties, because there's another one. Colorado's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Five on three power plays for this length can be a real good thing. Look, we used to practice them, 
The problem is, sometimes they're not as intense as the game. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Across the line. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Lots of barking back and forth here on the benches. The players are starting to get frustrated with the number of penalties they're taking. The Avs roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. It's a long five on three. You better get on the right page to take advantage of all this extra space. Too many times, power play just sits on the outside. The Avs gain possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's the pass. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Picked off by McLeod. There's a time for that play. I don't think it's right there, James. That's got to be a safer play. Oh, my oh. goodness. That sounded hard. It looked hard. That was a very, very heavy hit. Nasty. Puck picked up by Rantanen. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. The Avs have played the puck from behind the net. Oh, Avs. He's got a step. Score! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. Some guys are better than others on breakaway. I think there's a little bit of panic that goes into some guys. He doesn't. He looks really calm here and is able to score. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And a little physicality ends that threat. And he elects to play the puck. Oh, what a hit along the boards. Skates to the crease. And now it's grabbed by Bouchard. Moves the puck. Pass right in front. Petruskin's on the attack in the offensive zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Really hard to win when your penalty killers are on the ice more than anybody else. That's another penalty for them. The Avs win the faceoff. And he takes a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Smith. Can't connect on the pass. Stuffs him again. He's stopping everything. Smith's played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a bowl around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. Slides it up front. And that's knocked aside with the stick by Fogel. Keeps gaining momentum. Oh, he got oh. clobbered. Man, did he ever. And to make matters worse, he's got a stick knocked out of his hands. Now he's got to go chase the twig down. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Ryan stick handling in his own zone. The Oilers take it across the line. Colorado's got the puck. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Here he is in front. Can't connect. Wow. And they capitalize for the goal. You know, James, that kills the power play, but I'd still like to see the rules amended so they would still get the power play. They earned one. Now they don't even get it. The Avs are really starting to turn this thing on in a second. They seem a half a step quicker all over the ice. That adds up into a lead that they can extend. Centering Whoa. pass. Score! So many decisions that happen so quickly. Every once in a while, you get one wrong. That's an example. Driving 
right to the front. And he's going to leave the net to play the puck here. Feeds it over to Landeskog. Here we go, three on one. Poked away. And he blocks that one. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Kadri. Puck scooped up by Rantanen. Tremendous play for the team as he blocks it. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the play. Whoa. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. Colorado's on. Control now, is that fair to say? It is, and it looks like they're gonna try and get another couple of goals here. They're not letting down at all. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. The Avs gain control of the puck. And that pass can't connect. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Jost won the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Obey Kubel. Puck grabbed by Dreisaitl. The Avalanche have gained possession. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Takes the pass. Across the line from center. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, 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 he got absolutely walloped on that one. Did he ever? I mean, he didn't have his head up, and the player ran right over top of him. That pass goes a little sideways. Scooped up along the wall by Jost. Couldn't complete the pass. Taken by Kane. And it comes up with the save! From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Edmonton's in now. An easy save by Kemper. Puck picked up by Gerard. And we've got a two-on-one. Scores! What a shot! He picked up an assist because of his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability, guys. He can make those firm and accurate passes, and he helped the team get that scoring chance. The Avs win it. With authority. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. You can be a little more aggressive here. You know the other team's tired. They just want to get the puck and clear the zone. Denied that one. Move to the middle, and they come up empty-handed. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Two down, one to go. Third period. They're ready to drop the puck. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Colorado's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Hyman's carrying it ahead. Rips it. He scores! That give them some hope, maybe, kind of, sort of. They've really given up a ton of goals tonight.
Washington's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third. No reason to sit back. You're in a hole here. You need goals and you need lots of them. Attack. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Great poke check on the reach. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Edmonton gained possession. Works it across to Taves. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Hyman. Oh, big collision there. James, he had the homing device on there. He saw the chance and lowered the boom. Centers glide into the dot as the face-off ready to resume play. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Fails to find the open man. And now it's grabbed by Nachuskin. He might have a step here. Flips it across. Sends it over. He scores! Wow! The Avalanche have been flying tonight, and it continues here in period number three. Really been a tremendous game for them. I, I've been really impressed with them tonight. To the low slot! Gets in front of it. Oh, and he whiffs. Takes a shot. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Kadri's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. And they can't connect. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here we go. Three on one. Denies him in close. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Colorado's got possession of the puck. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Can't catch up to the pass. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And serves up a little knock on the play. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Sends the pass over. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Monstrous hit in the boards. You got to get up close to the boards. When you know that hit's coming, the only way you can absorb it is to get close and just take the hit. To the front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Smith. There's another stop. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Moves it to McKinnon. And no luck on that pass attempt. And that pass goes off a stick with the stop. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight. And we're not finished yet, James. This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Big open ice hit. Was it ever. He really closed off the room. Nowhere to go. Kemper's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Edmonton's won the draw. Puck grabbed by Puglia Yarby. Gets the glove on it. Picked up along the boards by McDavid. Taken by Gerard. Colorado's moving the puck through center ice. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. He got all of that one. Here's a chance out front. Takes the feed. The Oilers go to work on offense. Blocked by Kipper. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Violent collision. He moved in quickly. If you go at that pace, you take away all the available ice. Stopped by the goaltender. Edmonton's got the puck. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Quick pass to Comper. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Right out in front. Receives the pass. 